Joining us now is Barry Meyer, the author of Pain Killer, An Empire of Deceit and the Origins of America's Opioid Epidemic. Barry, it's good to have you. So the, the Purdue Pharma is one thing. They filed for bankruptcy after all these lawsuits. It's a multi-billion dollar settlement. The family behind Purdue Pharma, the Sacklers, why would they not be, why would they be roped into this? Why would they not have immunity from liability? Well, they're not being roped into it. This is a mechanism of the Sackler family's construction. They decided that the best way to deal with their potential liability was essentially to coattail onto the bankruptcy proceeding involving Purdue Pharma, the manufacturer of OxyContin. And that's what makes this so controversial. Basically, you have this family who didn't declare bankruptcy use the bankruptcy process to get the same type of liability shield that one would if you went through bankruptcy. Remind us why victims, local governments, the DOJ, would want the Sackler family themselves held liable for all of the deaths having to do with OxyContin, all of the lives ruined. Well, there are a lot of people who want to see justice here. They want to know what did the Sacklers know? What, you know, when this drug was being illegally promoted by Purdue Pharma, to what degree were the Sacklers aware of this? And what the Sacklers have artfully done is for the past 20 years, ever since I've been covering this story, they've evaded answering that question. They've never had their day in court. They've argued that we never did anything wrong. But the factor of the matter is that there's never been an adjudication of what they knew and when they knew it. In your reporting of the Sackler family, what did they know? What did they do regarding OxyContin? Well, it's not so much in my reporting. It's in the, re it's in the investigation that the Justice Department did that was suppressed for a decade when the Justice Department settled this case in 2007. And when some of their evidence came to light a decade later, uh, it showed that, at least in the view of the prosecutors in this case, that the top executives of Purdue Pharma and perhaps the Sacklers themselves knew that this drug was being abused from the minute it hit the market. Why would those family members, those family members of victims, call the Sacklers criminals? Uh, well, in their mind, they believe that they're responsible, that they knew. I mean, that's their opinion. Uh, that hasn't been determined by a court. You talk to the Sacklers, they said, we never did anything wrong. We're innocent. Uh, you're making, you know, you're, you've, you've destroyed our names. You've destroyed our reputation. Our names are being ripped down from museums. But, you know, there's one easy way for the Sacklers to prove their innocence, should they choose to do so, and that's to have their day in court. Does it look like that might happen from I the arguments? Doubt it. <laughs>